Hey everyone, Andrew Cook here and this is Nostalgia Up North and I'm here with my first haul video of 2023. 2022 was crazy busy. I established my brand, I started doing videos, I had record sales, I had a record amount of inventory I brought in. Uh, but we are here in 2023 and I am ready to jump right back in. Uh, you're probably thinking, Andrew, it's already March, almost March, and this is your first video, and you're absolutely right. So 2023, I actually set a goal for myself to start doing live Facebook sales, and I've actually done two sales, so that is why I haven't done a haul video, is I've been really concentrated on those sales, preparing, and then after I've had these two sales, I think I've sold about 100 things in each sale, so that takes a lot of time of the packaging, invoicing, things like that. So it's super exciting. It was super successful and I continue to plan to do that, uh, but it takes away from these haul videos a little bit. That said, I have plans to continue to share my hauls as they come in. Um, maybe some of the highlights might not always be in a video form, but definitely in, in photos. And then I'll start advertising my Facebook Live sales, which are happening on Few of the different groups I'm in. Uh, so uh, I did one on Pickerman Auctions uh, and then uh, Brimfield Online. So there's a couple of groups that uh, you go on and you can just join my video and bid on items or buy items. So uh, super exciting. Excited to see where this continues to go. With that said, I've kind of put together a haul video here of all kind of my highlights for this year so far as I've picked up a ton of stuff, so I'm excited to turn this camera around and show you the goods. All right, first off, I picked up pencils. I actually bought two boxes full of pencils and a lot of them were, uh, or there are a handful of new old stock and these ones are actually special because they're Lisa Frank. So my 80s and 90s kids will remember. Remember when you're going back to school and you see you were buying pencils or your folders or notebooks and they had some really cool designs on them. Those were Lisa Frank and now they're nostalgic and people will buy them, especially in new old stock. So uh, kind of a cool pickup. So if you're ever out at a thrift store or anything, you see them, look for the Lisa Frank, people buy them. Got the Lance jar it's with the original lid, very nice piece. Got the Pittsburgh Trolley Bell. That thing works, just a killer piece. And guys, <laughs> I picked up a ton of signs. As all of you know, I love signs, so I'm gonna highlight a few of these, but um, definitely been buying a lot of signs. Uh, so there's the ADT fire alarm. We got the little uh, fishtail Coca-Cola sign. Love this crush one, very cute scene. Uh, it's like a plastic, but would look really great framed up. Got the Forest Service. I really like that Coca-Cola. I believe that's from a machine, uh, like a vending machine, but just has a really cool look and somebody framed it up real nice. So, uh, the Wise Guy, <laughs> this is a great one. Uh, that's a card stock, but it's got the potato chips, got the kid, it's got the girl. He's like, yeah, give me the two of them potato chips. <laughs> that's how you pick up chicks. Duly noted. Got a few signs here. We got the Star Tobacco, the Hires, the Howl's Root Beer. I really love root beer if you can't tell, so I gravitate towards those. And here's another Coca-Cola. I, I really don't like to buy a lot of Coca-Cola unless it has a specific look to it. And this one definitely has that look. You've got chalkboard, a little girl drinking. Um, just got a really cool look to it. Tin metal chalkboard. Here's another chalkboard of the whistle. Anything whistle is pretty collectible, but um, yeah, it's a really neat one. Look at this Pepsi Cola. I had to buy this. It's got the girl and she's sailing and just got the bottle in her hands. This would be perfect down in Canal Park in, in Duluth here. Uh, just a really neat advertising piece. And then I got the Mack truck. That is from a dealership. Uh, that is a canvas. Really neat piece. 
And then I picked up the Antique Bourbon. I just love the mixed media with the, or not mixed media, but the baseball mixing with the Bruriana. It's a really cool piece. And I guess we'll just hop right over here. Picked up this tin Sunday Star Ledger. It's like a tin plate of a newspaper and Muhammad Ali. Just a really neat piece. And then going back, got a few. I'm really into cardstock these days. So I picked up a few really great cardstock. That is a Lucky Strike. I like what you like. A smoking advertising piece. And then I got the Yankee Girl Scrap. Look at that guy. Great piece. And then lastly, I got the Bank Note Cigars. Cardboard stand-up. All just amazing pieces. You frame them, they'd look amazing. And picked up the McGolden bottle light up. Now this was one of my highlights. I picked up this at auction. Uh, this is a 1944, I believe is the tag on it, trunk. But what's great about this trunk is, let's see if I can open it without breaking something. It is full of dishes. You've got mugs, you've got a plate, you've got a bunch of plates, bowls, and then in here you've got all the silverware. And this is all marked US. This is a military box and a military uh, bin that they would have taken. Uh, I believe this one is from Vietnam era. I know the box is made uh, in 44, but I believe this is actually, a lot of the dishes in here are dated in the 50s. So I believe this is Vietnam or Korean War, uh, but just a really cool piece. Super excited to pick that up. And then I picked up the stoplight. That thing is bright as heck, but it works real nice. Look good in the garage. And then here's another highlight. Uh, I got this Coca-Cola. This is a curb sign, um, double-sided. Well, it's not an actual double-sided. It's two signs in one with the original bracket there. It's probably from the 30s or 40s. Really neat sign. And I'm just gonna go over this quick, guys. Um, guys and gals. This is uh, my tin toys that I've picked up over the last couple months. Look at that guy. Love that. Intercontinental, I got Walt Disney, Goofy, and um, Donald Duck, and spin that, and if you uh, twist that, he, he does a little dance, which is awesome. Got the jet. Got Sheriff Whoopi Car there. I've got the ice cream cycle. That one is absolutely amazing. Let's open this up so I can see better. And we got the military Jeep with the turret on the back. Look at how old that is. That is a billiards tin toy, a German. Very neat piece. Picked up this sterling silver spoon. Look at the graphics on that. Absolutely amazing. Marked sterling on the back. Very cool. Got the derby tin toy, the Coca-Cola hat. Uh, that one is cool, Milwaukee Braves. It's a, like a ceramic glove. And then here's another piece that's just amazing. This is an old metal school police stop sign. Incredible. Love that. And then I'll back it up because this, I picked up this display, this Tom's Peanuts. I don't think I'll get rid of it though. I love it too much. And then I picked up this huge, I don't know if you can tell how big that, that thing is like 35 inches. That thing's crazy. The brass vase, it's got a really cool low, uh, like uh, carving on it, really neat. And got the milk can, 
picked it up because it's got a nice tag on it. And then here is my favorite piece of the year so far. Fickers Rex beer out of Duluth, Minnesota. Reverse glass with the foil backing, new old stock. This piece is incredible. I will not get rid of this. This is not for sale. I just wanted to show it because it knocks my socks off every time I see it. I love you. <laughs> and then lastly, I got some miscellaneous. I got the Kotex machine. This is a really cool one. Everhard Favor, that's a pencil box, tin. Ruby bands. It's got graphics on all the sides. Very neat piece. Sorry guys, I know this is getting long, but it's a lot of good stuff. Uh, picked up the new old stock decal borders. Those are really cool. Got the Wild Root Cream Oil Hair Tonic Dispenser. You don't see those with the sign and everything, and that looks like the old stock for the most part. Picked up the pulley, got the owls, got a couple of miscellaneous, uh, you know, when, you, <laughs> when you're out and picking stuff up, sometimes you have to pick up a few things that you're not comfortable uh, or you're not used to buying, which is what these two were. Got the Wada Pop. Holds lollipops, that thing is awesome. Chalkware. And got a couple plates. The Wyatt Earp, Robin Hood, Milk Glass. These were kind of neat. A couple of helmets. Uh, I believe they are from, uh, the guy I bought it from said they were from a stage play of uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So I don't know, maybe I should hold on to them. Uh, future Halloween uh, costume. And then to end it off, guys, I picked up the cast iron, or cast metal lot. Uh, that is a Hubley from 1920. Amazing piece. It's got the markings on the back. Um, I didn't see any markings on this one, but that's a cool uh, ashtray. And then got the Mutt and His Bone um, doorstop. Really cool look to that one. And then, Got this guy, which is a Dunlop. Um, these are really collectible. The Dunlop ashtray. His head moves, little golf guy. Very cool piece. So that is my haul, you guys. Quite a bit. And as you can see, as I said in my opening, if you notice stuff everywhere in the background, that is because I am prepping for my next live sale so i will be advertising that soon so be on the lookout but a lot of this stuff will be in that sale as well so i am excited to go into this year and try some new things and that's my haul thank you so much for watching this video please be on the lookout as i continue to highlight some of the great items i continue to pick up over the next few weeks and also be on the lookout for when I advertise my next live sale, which I'm hoping will be in the next week or so. I appreciate you all watching and we'll see you on the next one.